καλησπέρα, καλησπέρα. Καλώ ήρθατε στου Game Hoddings. Καλώ ήρθατε στο στοιχειωμένο μα κανάλι. Welcome to our Hoddings channel. My name is Paco. Ε, Τουρνάρι, we're gonna try another game that the developers have given us. Ε, this video is sponsored by the developers of the game Dark Egg. Uh, I don't know what the game is all about. I have never heard about it. It's a new game. Uh, but we're gonna find out soon. So, we're not for the delay. Let's just go and fucking play. Give me a second. Let's just go and fucking play Dark Egg. Oh, yeah. Mm. Keep. The Dark Egg settings. Oh, it's a pixel eight game. Okay, okay. Uh, turn text voice on off. Oh, no, I like it. Use okay, 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 okay. Text scroll speed one hundred percent. New game, I guess. Start. Let's see. Let's see what the game is all about. When I was young, let's put the camera here. When I was young, I heard a story, okay? About an island surrounded by a silver lake, okay? I guess. The island was empty, save for an old city. These people were lost and hungry. And when they cried for help, there was no answer. Okay, but then from the heavens came the many eyes of grace who gave an answer. Okay, salvation arrived on winged creatures speaking in tongues that aged men. They taught many secret things and what mine was their gifts. Took away mankind's faults and replaced them with eyes of, trace, of grace. The island was blessed, everyone was made right. The city was made better and the sun was consumed. What? What the fuck? The city was made into memory, living gods in eternity. Huh? Screams faded and more came back from the island. Okay. Most leave the island alone except for those seeking its greatest treasure. An egg from the heavens unspoiled and perfect. So, so that's why the game is called the uh, Dark Egg. Resting in the womb of the old city. Okay. A thing that will grant any wish you desire. And my mission is probably gonna be to find this egg. A thing that I must get. Okay, just answer my question. Okay, let's see. I guess. Let's see. Ah, uh, you're awakened to... Oh, it's like a RPG. Okay. You've awakened to the rocking of a ship. You can't remember how many days it has been. Next. They said it will only take half a day to get to the island. Even the ferryman said so. Nice. This is the ferry boat, okay. But the ferryman has not moved from his spot since you got on this board. He simply stares forward into a white mist with no islands in sight. Okay. The sounds of waves around you and nothing else. Ferryman. You speak up to catch uh, the ferryman's attention, but he makes no attempt at speaking back to you. He only continues to stare into the white mist ahead. That's how the old uh, RPG games uh, was used to be played. Be playing. That's why I used to play uh, old RPG games. That's, so there was only, only dialogue and you will be able to proceed uh, to the game uh, by making choices uh, about how to react uh, and uh, what kind of uh, uh, answer you're gonna, you're, gonna, suppose you're gonna give. He only continues, okay, next. Is the boat even moving, island? You peer over the boat and see rushing water. It is a relief to know the boat is going somewhere. You like the ferryman. Simply stare 
Stay, stay out, stay out into the mist-covered waters. Next, there is no island in sight. Back. You open your back just beneath your feet. It is drenched by the mist and splash of the waves around you. The contents are nothing special. Gear, gear you were told that will help you on the island. Many assured you, assured you there will be a town near the seashore when you arrived. Okay, you're not sure. You're not so sure anymore. Inventory. A good explorer always always knows what he carries. Yes. Small knife, equipped, an important tool for any traveler. Nice. Range, 9. Attack, plus 5. Climbing rope, compass, okay, okay, okay. Gold, we have uh, attack. Increase damage default, default. Okay, nice. So, though, though you remember bringing a map of the island, you can't seem to find it in your bag. Maybe it fell out. Maybe. Search for your map. A ruined map of the island and a broken compass. You find your map on the floor of the ferry and pick it up. Okay. While you're not you're not selling yourself, it isn't completely for, foreign foreign to, to you. Okay. The map is way to the touch. Still hopefully, still hopefully you open it, but it's contents unbearable anymore. The ink runes. Okay, because it's wet. It appears you need to draw a new one as you go. You place the map in your back near your compass and notice the dial spinning erratically. Pulling it out, you try to hold it steady. The dial only grows more wild. Next. Upon hearing a rustle, a rustle from the front of the boat, you look up from your back. The ferryman has turned from the mystery waters. He stares at you with dull eyes. Ocean mist drips from his pale chin. You feel his gaze on you. Talk. You give a quick hello to the ferryman. His face remains expressionless. Black eyes stare directly at yours. We've passed the normal waters. What? The ferryman lets out what looks to be a weak smile. His eyes never leave you. Okay. You sure did chew off a lot, didn't you? Don't even know about the silver waters. The ferryman laughs, then face the mystery waters once again. Will be to shore soon, be dropping you off. I won't go to shore, my to shore myself, you know. Never go to, to shore, okay. Uh, okay, I guess. Of course, the ferryman turns from you and stares back out over the ocean's waves. To your relief, you begin to see an, a land emerge from the white mist. Look, that's the land. The shoreline is decorated in yellow lights, in yellow lights, and as the boat gets closer, a silhouette of a dark, wet town appears before you. What are you playing? A Lovecraftian game. The light seems to dance in a mist and rain. This is the okay. This is the the land that we've seen, and this is the ferryboat. Okay, it is the harbor. Press be quiet when you get to shore. The ferryman whispers. Uh, confident. The ferryman is quiet for a while. The shoreline creeping closer. You are already, aren't you? And look how well you are doing. The ferryman replies quietly. Next, we'll be docking soon. Best to take your seat, dock. You sit where your back rests. The cold splashes of water pepper your nubbing face. You let out a breath and see it's missing in front of you. Okay. It's, is it getting colder? Probably. The ferryman is the, the ferryman raised his hand and he, as he does so, the boat the boat slows. The boat twins and turns as if four men are piloting it. Okay. You remember that there was a crew of on this boat when you first set off. There was a crew. Wasn't there? The boat comes to a halt and beside the boat you see a worn dogway. So, we almost there. Best of luck to whatever it is you are searching for, stranger. You look to the ferryman and are surprised to find he is not at the head of the boat any longer. What the fuck is going on? That's strange. He goes there a moment ago. Maybe I'm sleeping. Maybe this is a nightmare. I don't know. You look around but do not find him anywhere. It is only you and there is only the dog. A small layer of snow covers covers it. A small layer, okay, layer of snow. A small, a small layer of snow covers it. Step off the boat. I gained 15 experience points. You step off the boat and your feet press into the snow. Light rain begins to pepper your face as you walk into the town. Next. Let's go to the town. Red snow 
Repelled against your body. The harsh wind close, close, close at your face. You realize now that you're, you're far under prepared for what is what, for what is to come. Next. Next. The town is quiet and the street lamps grow a dim yellow in the winds around you. Not a soul is in the sight. But as you walk forward, you hear the laughter of a man to your right. Near him is a small shop. Your footsteps splash in the road. Let's go to the shop. Keeper shop, okay. You walk up to the small shop and open the door, getting out of the, ra of the rain quickly. The inside is a good deal warmer than out there. Leaning the walls rests all kind of goods, from small vials to books and art. Standard at the back is a large wooden countertop. Okay. Behind the counter sits a pale bearded ber uh, man with a beard, okay? And behind him a wall. From his seat, he towers over you just slightly. We are playing an RPG, okay? Next. His eyes are nearly closed and he appears amused at your presence. Funny, he haven't had visitors in a long time, he chuckles. He chuckles, but then again, perhaps you aren't a visitor at all. I have no fucking idea what's going on. What are you here for? Uh, I don't know, equipment. You ask the man if he has any equipment to help you on your journey. He motions towards the back of the, of the shop. As you walk, you, you find racks of, of various clothing, some with uh, fur, others with various... With various Embellishments. Uh, uh, Embellishments. Embels, right. You realize most of it's uh, common wear and unfortunately not very helpful for what you plan to do. You think you can't use any of it. The man asks after a moment. He looks you up and down. You do have a fine piece of leather on you. But armor isn't everything out there. He points to a thick uh, coat near you. The coat can be just as deadly as the creatures. If not more so. Creatures? What kind of creatures? I've seen many experts of the sort freeze before they made even a single swing. You look through the various clothing the shop has to offer. Let's take the winter gold. How many cold we have? Let's take it. You don't have enough cold. Ah, mm. uh, never mind. What are you here for? Potions? You take a look at the men's potion supply, but find it rather bare. Don't carry much more than the essentials here, the man says. Not many visitors means not many buyers either. Still, you, you're welcome to take a look around. Recover potion, blast potion, recover potion. You look through a small group of vials stacked on a shelf. Never mind. What are you here for? Nothing. Exit. The man still... The man still hovers on the street corner laughing. His black eyes stare at nothing. Let's talk to the man. You approach the man, apprehensive. His laugh continues to echo through the roads as if amplified by something. No one else is around and you notice the man has no smile on his face. You greet him and ask him if he knows where anyone else is. We are in a ghost town. The laughter stops. He turns his face towards you but does not meet your eyes. His gaze lies be uh, beyond you. A pale face with l without life, his eyes, his eyes reflect nothing. There is no one else, there is just you. What the fuck is going on? What, where am I? The man turns from you and walks away. He suddenly begins to laugh again, growing quieter as he vanishes from your view. Your footsteps splash in the road. Not, I don't want to go to the shop again, I want to go to the street. As you follow a trail of wind and rain through the town, you walk empty. You walk up the streets lined with yellow lights and past buildings with no people. The weather worsens as, as the road opens up a bit. Two houses on one, one, two houses on one side and the chapel on the other. You see that what looks to the, to the people, to be the people. You see what looks to be people. Ah, okay, I found people. But as you get closer, you notice they make no sound. All of them care not for the rain. Letting it fall on the plane skill and the black eyes stare at nothing. What am is this a ghost town? And we can save our progress here. And this is the items man, okay. So if we open this, we have a recovery potion. Nice, because we bought a recovery potion. And this is the compass. Okay, okay, okay. Back. Uh next. They walk from street to street, building to building without. Pause and without emotion, none tend to you as you walk by. 
You stand in the center of the road, black faces, uh, black, uh, black faces passing you by. The chapel appears empty. Uh, let's go to the chapel. The chapel is quiet. The floors, walls, and ceilings are tiled with closed box black stone. Be between the stones, the acts worn white. Okay, so we're setting our main purpose of the game is to find this egg, this uh, dark egg here. Okay. Pictures of people and the harbor line, the holes and ladders rest in all four in all four corners of the large room. Next. In its center lies an altar. On it is a dark egg. We found the egg. You feel the egg calling you. Egg. You walk up to the egg, passing, passing rows of empty pews along you, along your, along your way. At the altar, you notice four pedestals surrounding the egg, each with a lit beacon. Mm. A faint glow surrounds the egg. Uh, ped pedestals. You go towards one of the pedestals and notice that from each one extru extrudes out, extrudes out a, glow a glowing barrier of sorts. Nearly invisible, it's likely, it's likely a dangerous trap meant to protect the egg. Oh, okay. Uh, the four pedestals are lit and the, uh, behind. You step around to the back of the altar. Yes. The four pedestals are lit and the, nice. Front. You return to the front of the altar. The, okay, right. You examine the right pedestal and notice a switch beneath its beacon. Okay. You try to press it but find it locked. Left. You examine the left pedestal and notice a switch beneath it. Okay. You try to press it but find. What the fuck? Uh, believe, I guess. You back away from the egg. The chapel is quiet. Uh, pictures are. Uh, 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 exit. Let's go to the alley. In the back alley, the rain is unable to, the, to reach. It is far more quiet. Snow still falls steadily, and near the end of the alleyway, rests a woman and her child. Let's talk to the woman and the child. Frozen and dead, their faces hold sadness and hope, and before them rests an offering box. Let's take the box. You notice that the woman has a coat you could wear. It wouldn't do her any good because, because she's dead. Let's take the coat. You go to pull a coat of the woman, the first side slides off easily but as you continue the sleeve between her and the girl sticks you maneuver and pull the coat until finally it feels it frees with a crunch the coat is now yours through the woman uh, frost beat an arm came okay nice i don't that's not nice the inside of the coat is linked with warm fur and through and through it goes wrapped on uh, Okay, uh, it's quiet in the back alley. The woman lies scrambled on the nice leaf. Uh, can we set something? Winter coat. No, equip. Okay. Uh, let's go to the house. You knock on the door of a nearby home. Come in, you hear. You open the door and walk inside the house. On your left rests a coming fire, and close to it, a man in a wheelchair. His face is tired, eyes blacked. Black. He turns to you and smiles. Oh, a guest. Come get warm by the fire. You start toward the jovial man. Why I can't remember the last time we ha we've had a guest. How is it out there? Everyone is dead. The rain doesn't seem to be doing you many favors, he chuckles. Looking back into the fire, okay. Well, you can rest here as long as you need. My wife has always been a great hostess. But she's out at the moment. A shame you, can, a shame you can't meet her. Maybe it's the woman that is dead and that took the coat. You take a seat, a seat next to the man and he suddenly turns to you. Say, did you happen to see my wife and daughter? Oh, no. Uh, I'm wearing uh, your dead uh, wife uh, coat. <laughs> They were supposed to go for my medicine. No, oh, before you can respond, a strange look passes over the man's face. He says in a low voice, uh, Hey, that's my wife's coat. I'm sure of it. Where did you find it? In your dead... Uh, tell the truth, I guess. You tell the man that you found it on a frozen woman in an alley. I'll see. What the... Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? It was all of my fault in the end. It always was. The man turns and stares at the fire. Leave. Let's go to the overlook. Continue past the town. You continue up the path, climbing a small hill. The bitter wind gets worse with every step. As the hill 
Platinus, you reach the end of a large cliffside overlooking a massive chasm. Up ahead is the ruined city. Gold gates rest in front of the city. Walls surrounding, surround, surrounding it as far as the eyes can see. The whole strong even after the, the, the many years. You can see a pulp, pulp, palpable fog over the city. It seems to, climb, to, to cling to it. A trail leads down towards the city gate, growing more snow filled as it goes. Opposite, opposite to, it, to it lies a flat trail towards what appears to be a small log cabin. Ladders light the way. Hey, let's go to the cabin. Nearby, a knight in black armor stands over looking the rain below. Uh, no, let's get to the cabin. You walk towards the cabin, it's train calm and flat. You pass old lamps, rocks, maybe as you go. The closer you get, the larger you realize the cabin is, and soon you see a sign faded and cheap that simply says in. Let's go to the inn. The lamps grow more numerous upon closer inspection. You realize they are frozen, but oh, they are all dead. What happened here? Uh, let's go to the inn. So, before we go to the inn, we're gonna see to the next uh, video. That was Dark Egg. It's an old uh, kind of uh, old school game. It's like an RPG. Uh, you're supposed to investigate by choosing uh, what your what your actions what your actions gonna be, and that's how the whole story will unfold in this game. Uh, we would like to thank the developers very much for giving us the opportunity to play this game. I'm gonna place a link so you can go and check uh, the game in the Steam page and uh, add to your wishlist or take uh, buy the game in order to play for yourself. Please tell us in the comments if you like it or not. Until our next video, subscribe, like, and share. Have a nice, good night. Uh, bye bye.